K Black Boxing coming to you with another video. You know, I see the two guys I got on the screen is Adonis Stevenson versus uh, Alita Alvarez. Well, you know, I read uh, an article from BoxingScene.com and Alita Alvarez, man, uh, he won his title shot versus Adonis Stevenson. He said he's not going anywhere. And, uh, and if he can't get the title shot, he's going to try to see if Adonis Stevenson can get stripped from that title because he's been a mandatory for over close to two years now, since November of 2015. And that's a long-ass time, man, to be somebody's mandatory. That's absurd in my opinion, man. But with these sanctioning bodies, some people get more uh, time than others. You know, a person, some people, so they win a title, they got to have a mandatory defense. If not, they get stripped within the same day, it seems like. You know, while others you know, they can hold on to the titles fighting less than stellar less than stellar opposition for a long period of time. You know, Alvarez, man, um, I think it would be a good fight, man. See, both of these guys are sure, not only sure the same, um, sure the same advisor now, hey, man, they show sure the same promoter as well, man. So I don't understand why this fight can't get done. He's basically saying, uh, Elite Alvarez basically saying that Donna Stevenson said no, no, um, Never want to uh, want to basically pick up the fight, but in my opinion, I know in Canada, both of these it, it would sell in Canada, man. You know, somebody would pick it up. Showtime would probably pick it up. You know what I mean? It's just excuses, man. Uh, Elite Average goes to say that he's uh, he stepped aside basically two times already to let him fight other opponents, basically because he thought he's gonna get the fight with uh, Adon Stevenson, but it didn't happen. So I, I feel you. I feel. Alvarez, man, you know, get you know, get the get that opportunity to fight for that title, man. You know, he deserve it. He been in the mandatory for a long period of time. He fought who he had to fight. And, you know, Adonis, the people that Adonis Stevenson been fighting lately, you know, it, it, you know, they they wasn't that damn good. So if they if they don't believe Alvarez that good, I hope I mean, hey, this basically going to sound the same Going saying the same path he's been going down anyway. You know, at least he's an undefeated fighter though. So let's see how you know, how how he will you know fur against Adonis Stevenson, man. In my opinion, a lot of people call Adonis Stevenson out, man. You know, it's a reason why people like Joe Smith Jr. I know he just lost to Sullivan Barrett, but it's it's a reason why uh, Joe Smith Jr. went to fight Adonis Stevenson. Marcus Brown called him out after he beat Sean Monaghan. Uh, even Badu Jack, who's new in the division, beat. Uh, Nathan Cleverly for a version of the WBA title, he called Stevenson out as well. But Stevenson did uh, answer uh, Badu Jack, and he basically said he would like to fight him to unify uh, titles, and he liked he was like to fight Andre Ward as well. You know, in my opinion, you know, we all know Andre Ward is the real WBA champion. You know, you know how the WBA is, man. He got an interim champion, a uh, uh, regular champion, and a super champion. You know what I mean? Which is crazy to me, but. Um, I did say, you know how I felt about, about Badu Jack. I said he should have stayed at 168 because I believe he probably could have unified the whole division. And I said he would get his clock clean at 175, you know what I mean, against the top guys, which is top guys is, of course, Andre Ward or Donna Stevenson, man. But, you know, um, since, I, since Donna Stevenson competition haven't been up to par as of late, and it seems as if Badu Jack is getting better and better, you know, I think he was very free for a will against Adonis Stevenson, man. You know, I'm going to say this as an example. Um, a fight that happened years ago. You know, Nito De Nair versus uh, Guillermo Rigondeaux. You know what happened Guillermo Rigondeaux won the fight. But Don Nito De Nair, he was fighting guys that was basically less skilled than him. And he was getting knockouts like crazy. And he really didn't want to fight Rigondeaux. He was basically saying words to the effect of, like, you know, he's bored. He want to fight exciting fights. But when he finally got in there with Rigondeaux, you seen what happened. He got out of class because Nonito was a good box. He was a good boxer. But the reason why he lost is because he was fighting less than still opposition. He was getting knockouts left and right. So when he finally fought somebody that was skilled, that could take a punch, even though he knocked him down, was able to get back up and dish it all out. You seen what happened. So Adonis Stevenson, I'm not comparing none of those guys to Rick and Dab or nothing like that. But what I'm saying is, you fight less than stellar comp opposition. So when you finally do fight somebody like Badu Jack, Alita Alvarez, or even Andre Wood or Marcus Brown, whoever else, man, they they might have the upper hand just because you've been fighting competition that's like I said, that wasn't up to par, man. So you got to get that shit together, man. Give Alita Alvarez his damn shot, man. He been there for two years. Like I said, y'all show the same promoter and advisor. We know 
Al Hammond can get one of the networks to sanction you. I mean, to, you know, basically put y'all fight on, man. So, like I say, according to Barcelona.com, Leo Alvarez is not taking no shortcuts. He's not taking no back downs. And if you don't get this fight with Adonis Stevenson, he's going to press for him to get stripped, man. This is K Black Boxing signing off. Like, comment, subscribe.